This video will go over how to correctly copy over text from an outside source without bringing over any unwanted HTML. First thing is, bring up your email message wherever it is located on the outside source. This is Microsoft Word. So all you would have to do is copy over everything by highlighting it and left click copy. A lot of users make the mistake of just clicking paste right here, which if you do paste right here, it's going to bring over that styling that you already had. And you'll see within this HTML side that you've brought over some unwanted HTML like the font family, MS class. So what you're going to do is delete everything from this HTML view, go back to the editor, and go ahead and click copy. Then always click paste and match style if you have an apple. If you have windows, then you would click paste as plain text. Never just click paste. So as you can see, the bolding did not come over for the variables of leave product review or contact seller. So we're going to go ahead and do all the styling within our feedback with template builder. Okay, so as I fixed all of the spacing, I'm going to go ahead and bold what we already originally had as bold text. So go ahead and highlight over that, click bold, and then this would be for bold. If you would like to underline anything, then all you would have to do is highlight what you would like to underline and click this U option. And then you'll see within this HTML side, there's nothing extra that's unwanted in here. As you can see, it is all what you already have pulled up on this side. So always make sure that you do the styling within our template builder. If you have any font colors that you're going to copy over to here, just keep in mind that Amazon no longer allows you to have different font colors. So you'll be able to see how everything looks on this side as well and then always make sure you save it and send yourself a test email to make sure that your variables and links are all working correctly but this is how to properly copy over your text from an external source and make sure it does go through on seller central and as far as the messaging to make sure it is tos compliant i would suggest you click on this link that's amazon buyer seller messaging policies now I will go over how to check if any of your active templates have any unwanted HTML. So go ahead and pull up any template that you currently have within Feedback Wiz. And you'll be able to see from this content side that you have this icon for your HTML view. So if you're not sure if it has any unwanted HTML, then all you would have to do is go ahead and copy over from this side of the box for the content side. Don't copy over from this live email preview side because the variables are already populated. So all you're gonna do is highlight it, click copy, and go ahead and pull up an extra template by going to your template manager and clicking on create new template. So this is just going to be a scratch paper. You're not going to save any new template today. You're gonna to just save that current one that you had. So within this content box, you're gonna go ahead and click on paste and match style. It's going to copy over with no styling as you can see so go ahead and fix your spacing and the styling within this box okay so i've fixed the spacing i'm going to go ahead and bold the text that was originally bold in that last template so you'll be able to see this is the same exact message as your original template right here and this html view has all of this within it and if you click on the HTML view for your scratch paper template you'll be able to see there's no extra garbage in here for unwanted HTML so all you're going to do is in your original template this one go ahead and click on HTML view make sure you delete everything from that view and you'll see there's nothing here now and from this template builder that was your scratch paper, just go ahead and click on copy by highlighting it. Then you can come back to your original template and go ahead and just click paste. 
This doesn't need to be paste and match style because this is within the Feedback Wiz template builder that you're editing. So now you'll be able to see it's that same exact message and there's no extra unwanted HTML in here. So that's how to make sure that you don't have any extra unwanted HTML and to make sure that your template is good to go. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information, please visit feedbackwiz.com.